Hi there, my Learning Time friends. This is Sarah Blackburn here, Ben and Nora's mom. Today I'm going to read to you your lesson, which is about the lost sheep and lost coin. Have you ever had something go missing? You've looked and you've looked. Maybe you've had friends or people in your family help you look. Hopefully you found it. Let's find out what happens in this story. I'm going to show you the picture first. Looks like he found something. We're going to read about it. This is in um, the book of Luke. It's where it comes from. The lost sheep and the lost coin. Telling stories was Jesus' favorite way to teach people about God. Once there was a shepherd who had 100 sheep, Jesus said. He loved them all. The big ones and the little ones, the good ones and the naughty ones. They were his sheep and he loved them. Every day, the shepherd counted his sheep to make sure that they were all safe. One day, he counted only 99 sheep. Oh no, one was missing. Right away, the shepherd left the 99 sheep together and went to look for the one that was lost. The shepherd listened for the lost sheep to say, Ah, you probably knew that. He looked in all the places that the sheep might get stuck or be in trouble. And it took a while, but the shepherd kept looking until he found the missing one. Then he called to his friends and his neighbors. Come on over, he cried. I found my sheep. Let's have a party. You can tell they're pretty happy in this picture. <coughs> Jesus loved telling people stories like this about something being lost and then found. I have another story, Jesus said. Once there was a woman who had saved up 10 little silver coins. One day when she was counting them, she discovered that she had lost one. What do you think she did? Did she think to herself, oh well, I've still got nine. Who cares if one is lost? No, she did not. She lit her lamp and she swept her house from top to bottom. She looked under and over and around everything in her house until she found that lost coin. Oh, she was so happy she had a party to celebrate. God is like the shepherd and this woman, you know, said Jesus. God would never stop looking for someone who is lost. How would you feel if you were lost? And then you were found. Think about those two feelings. And here's the woman looking for her lost coin. Some of you, I bet, have been lost before. Maybe you got lost outside. Hopefully you were found. Maybe you've been lost at a grocery store. Your parents went down an aisle and you were still looking at something like the cereal. And you didn't know where they went. But then you found them. Maybe you got lost because you were playing in a clothing rack or something at a store, and then you got found. Both of those things happened to me when I was a kid because I wasn't quite paying attention to where my mom went. But it was such a good feeling when I was found or when I found my mom. So hopefully you have some good stories about finding things. A good place that I always tell my kids to look is under their bed. Things like to hide under there when we think they're lost. I'm going to share with you now some ideas that we have on the back of the pamphlet you would have gotten if we were in person at Sunday school. The Lost Sheep and the Coin. This week's theme is found. A shepherd had 100 sheep and searched everywhere when he counted only 99. A woman searched her entire house looking for one missing coin. There was great rejoicing when they found what had been lost. A game you could try this week is called Play Sheep Hide and Seek. One person hides a stuffed animal in your house and everyone has to search for it by asking up to 10 yes or no questions to figure out where the location is. Whoever finds the missing sheep can then celebrate like the sheep did and they can hide it for the next round. So kind of hide and seek but with a stuffed animal. That sounds fun. You could search online to find and learn about the duties of a shepherd during Bible times and learn a little bit more about what they had to do to take care of sheep. 
You could then use that information, it says, to find and create a classified ad that could be found in an employment section of the newspaper. So just for fun, what would you write up for a job description of a shepherd? This says, we miss you. We really do. We could make a list of families or other church members that we haven't seen lately. And we could get their contact information, possibly from the church office. You could call them or send them a letter and just say, I miss you. You could also send them a message, maybe on your phone or on your parents' phone. This is called, who has the coin? You could sit in a circle with 10 coins in the middle. Take one and play button, button, who's got the button, but substitute the word coin. Coin, coin, who's got the coin in a rhyme. And when the coin is found, return it back to the other nine and say Luke 59 together and cheer. Then let's see, where is it? It says you could go to the library and check out a search and find picture book or a seek and find. If you have some at your house too, you could look at them. We like those with hidden pictures or find 10 of these and nine of these. Those are fun ones. You could make a sheep of your own. It says make a handprint sheep. So if you trace your hand on black paper and then cut it out, cover it with cotton balls. The four fingers are the legs and the thumb could be the head. So it would be like this, but upside down. So the head and these could be your legs. Cover it with cotton balls. Then the, um, the last thing is you could choose a family member to cover their eyes while everybody else hides. Search to find someone who's lost and then join hands. Continue searching until you find everyone in your family. Then at the end, you can yell, let's rejoice. The lost have been found. Kind of fun games this week. So anything related to sheep or hide and seek or someone you haven't seen in a while, send them a message or letter. The last thing that I want to do is say a little prayer with you. All right, what I'd like you to do right now is if you could please close your eyes and you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for this time for us to learn together about caring for what is lost. Help us to remember that all are precious and need to be found because God loves us. Amen. I hope that you have a very blessed day, whether it be Sunday or the next day. And take care. Hope to see you guys soon.